So a pause menu is the menu you see when the game is paused. So a pause menu mainly contains two things. One is the background. It should be dynamic, adaptable to different types of text. For example, it shouldn't be white or black as most of the text used in these two colors. Second is the options. The player should have access to basic options like settings, quit, restart and resume. In Scratch, settings is rarely made in most of the games. So we gonna make restart, resume and quit only. So first of all, you need a game to make it in. Uh, you can take any uh, game which requires this feature. And with that, let's get started. So here you can see when I start the game, the start button. And here you can see the game is now running. But if I wanna pause, mostly games have escape button, but this game has a pause button as scratch doesn't have uh, escape button supported so here i can you you can see the game is paused and not, no action is happening in the game even if i click anywhere here and you i can click on resume to resume the game if you want to go somewhere you can just pause the game so this menu just had resume button but we can make settings quit button and restart button too if we have that fe those features in our game so let's get started so guys yeah i have a game to make it in this is a multiplayer pong game or you can call it single player as the computer has uh, this has an ai which plays with the player it also loses you can watch my video on making a pong game so you can just check how it works and so let's get started with the pause menu so first of all make a new sprite and name this pause menu we'll make it in using in a using a single sprite set x and y to 0 this costume name to 1 and delete the sound effect so here we will make a pause menu so first of all you can follow me or if you know how to design a pause menu you can just do that so first of all make a rectangle just like this then you can give it any color and remove the outline So yeah, I've made a menu with the title of game paused. You can make it better and it is different in games. But I've just put here game paused for this tutorial. And then we'll make a resume button. So first of all, you can make a rectangle here. Just like this. And you can set the color and just type here restart. I'm making one. So yeah, I made a restart button here you can see and you can also group this. Let's get started with this. So first of all, name this costume layout and then duplicate this two times. In first duplicate, you can just delete the restart menu, uh, restart button and then you can just delete the game post and the background. So here we have restart button. So you can name this restart button. Then you can name this background. So here we have all segregated just like this. And now you can just add your resume button here. Just copy this and paste it here. And you can just uh, type here resume. And just group this. Then you can just make the quit button. And then you can just group it and just arrange these as you want. So yeah, I've arranged this and you can just delete or just leave the restart menu if you have not changed the position, but I'll delete this and you can just duplicate this and just segregate this three buttons and just name them accordingly like resume will be resume button, restart will be restart button and quit will be quit button. So I have segregated these three and name them and we have the background and the layout so first of all we'll start with when the green flag clicked if you are watching my channel for a long time you might know i will put your green flag go broadcast green flag and then broadcast start in that one but this game only starts when it broadcast start so we'll start with just broadcasting the start and we won't do it here as it is already done in the player so we can just remove this and set put here when I receive start just hide and we'll make the build block make a new block called build and number input then start 
and then start number input run without screen refresh should be checked click on ok and then you can just uh, make a variable called clone number and for this sprite only click on ok make it hidden set clone number to start then repeat number times create clone of myself and put the change clone number by one above it and then you can just put it here we have four things the three buttons and the background so four and start from zero so then we can just put here when i start as a clone and also to make the game resume and pause we can just make a variable called resume and with a question mark if you want for all sprites click on ok and then you can just put your go to front layer and show then if clone number is equal to one then switch to costume background and that's it for the background we won't do anything for the background after this so then switch to costume 2 then resume button and this will be the resume button and forever then put an if else touching mouse pointer so this will be a like hovering mouse effect if i hover the mouse over a button yeah okay, you can see if i hover the mouse over the player sprite the the outline turns blue and the background is brighter so we will make a effect like that so to do la things like that you can just set brightness effect to 20 and then else you can set it to 0 you can adjust this value as you want but this should be 0 i think and if you have multiple effects you can just put your clear graphic effects instead of them setting to 0 this will automatically set everything to 0 and then you can just put your if mouse down so this will detect a click then wait until not mouse down so then it will wait to the click to be com be completed and then you can just uh, put the action here for the resume so to make the resume work we'll set resume variable to one if resume variable is one the game is resumed like we can play it and if it is zero the game is paused and we cannot play it so then duplicate this set clue number to three here and switch to costume restart button and we can just uh, for restart we'll make the script later and just duplicate this and set clue number equal to four then quit button and now for now we can just put a stop all if you have a menu you can just uh, sync it with that and for now we will put just stop all so the game will be stopped and now you can just not see this as and for now we can just put here something like if the pause menu should be shown so you can make a variable called pause menu open question mark for all sprites ok and click make it hidden then you can just put your set pause menu open to zero and make a broadcast like when i receive pause then set resume to zero and duplicate this set pause menu open to one so it will open the pause menu and we can just put a thing here so that these are not visible to us when the game is resumed so this should be in the background so forever if else and put an equal to pause menu is equal open is equal to one so these will be shown else they will be hidden and we can put their scripts inside of the if one and below the show so they will work when they are shown and if they are hidden they won't work and we can just duplicate this and put it everywhere just like this even in the background and you need to put it in the forever loop just like this and this will work i am just putting it so i have done this Here you can see everyone contains that so and duplicate this when i receive make a new one resume click on ok then set resume to 1 and pause when you open to 0 so this will just hide the pause menu entirely and it won't work again so to make the pause thing work we can also make a pause button 
so usually i will make in this but this will make the script very really complicated so we'll make a new sprite called pause button and just uh, name this costume to one and delete the sound and now we'll make just the pause button you can just copy any button from here like the i will copy the restart button paste it here and you can just write pause or you can just make a pause button you can see in uh, many games and i will make a button like that so i have made a pause button here you can see and you can just place it in the left corner like this so it will be in the left corner and set x and y to zero instead of setting x and y we can just set it in the costume so it will be easier for us and then code it like when i receive start go to front layer and then show forever if and you can just put your pause menu open is equal to one then it will just hide and you can just put it in the if else statement like this put the hide in the else and show in the year and just set it to zero so if it is pause menu open is zero when it is closed it will show and else it will hide we can also put one more thing here like if else touching mouse pointer we'll make that clicking effect or hovering effect set brightness effect to 20 duplicate this set brightness effect to zero so it will be not uh, visible when it is not touching then if mouse down wait until not mouse down and then it will just uh, pause the game so to pause the game we can just broadcast pause and it will just pause the game just like that and you can just put it inside of this so it will just work when the pause menu is not open or it will be like double pause or something so let's see if it works and here you can see the button is visible but it is half cut because of our goals in the game but let it be it won't happen in your game and when i click on it here you can see the pause menu is open and the game isn't paused yet so to make it work we can just uh, put something in the scripts here and we can just put here if resume the resume variable we made and equal to one so it will it should work when resume is one or else it should stop this script and you should put it in every forever loop so it will happen in forever loops and the places where it is uh, real time updating so here you can see I will put it in every script So I have put it in the entire game and let's see if it works. So now when the green flag click here you can see the game is working and when I pause the game is stopped I think. If we hide the menu and if we resume it. So to resume we can just remove this and instead put here broadcast resume and let's see. So here you can see the game is resumed. When I pause here and when I resume here you can see it starts from where we uh, left it. And this works perfectly. So this was all for the pause menu. So to make the restart function, I will make another video. And this was for the pause menu one. Restart is a bigger thing. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.